We in. Done. We in. We got it. Okay. We, we got the recording. Yes, Is recording. We got the recording. Everyone, welcome back to um, my channel. <sighs> my best friend Grant is here. He is here in the um, studio, aka my living room slash dining room slash kitchen. And Norman's here too. Norman, say hi to the people at home. Hi. Hi. <laughs> hi. This is a Norman. So I thought I'd sit down and film a get ready with me video. So yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's only a million of these on the on the internet. Sit back, enjoy. Am I professional? No. No. Are are my skills good? No. No. <laughs> <sighs> okay, so we're gonna start with makeup. How do you here, start your face? And we're Did gonna you do anything before, like your. To prep, oh, I shave. A, oh, Grant's a director now. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, what we're gonna start with is how I start every single time is I do my eyebrows first. It's the most boring part. Oh, I also shaved. Baby face, eyebrows. Shaving and prepping before you put your makeup on is essential. I also put a link down below to Blair St. Clair's video. That was the first one I watched. Super helpful. Oh, and I think you God. should watch it. <laughs> we're gonna take our Elmer's glue, you gotta get the purple one. Don't get the clear ones, They're, these are the ones you need. It helps because it dries clear when it's dry. It says it on the label, it dries clear. So we're gonna get into this. We're gonna get into this. So did you like learn a lot through the years doing your eyebrows? Who let him in here? <laughs> doing your eyebrows is a process. The more you do this, the better it is. It's drag, get messy with it, the more you mess up, the easier it gets. Anyway, take a comb or a, it's a comb. That's a comb. Okay, well. Brushes, combs, it's all the same thing, right? You know, no, just take, take this type of brush. Comb. That's a Louisiana education coming for you. Oh, <laughs> Swipe up. And you wanna kinda give a little bit of pressure as you do it, really lay down your brows. And you will feel as you're going that they get tackier, and that's good. That's what you want. We're gonna speed through the next brow. You saw how I do the first one, so. We have one layer down. I do about four. Whatever seems comfortable. You'll figure this out as you go. I'm gonna finish the rest of my brows and then come back to you. We are on our last layer of blue stick. We have three layers on right now. This is from Sephora. Um, oh, boo boo. This is a <laughs> this is a um, foundation powder. So it has a little bit of tint in it. it. Gives me a little bit of coverage for my brows. Last layer, fourth layer. I go in while it's still kind of wet. 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 <laughs> Cheap little sponge, and I pack it down. And then you have this. Beautiful. We're trying to get a blank canvas. canvas. And then we do the other one as well. But now that I have my brows done, I'm going to prime a little bit. And I have this Smash Box Photo Finish Minimizes Pores. We're gonna take that, oh. wipe that on our face with our hands because we're nasty. Does this help? I don't know. It honestly feels great. I think it looks good. It does minimize your pores. I don't have any, but for you at home that do. <laughs> <laughs> Primed. We have our eyebrows down. We're gonna go straight into foundation. I personally like to use a TV paint stick by Cryolon. I don't color correct. My, my beard isn't that like dark. It doesn't give that blue pigment, which color correcting is good for. This is plenty. This is also the best sponge in the entire world. This is from Target. It's huge. I have a huge face. And it also has this pointed in, which I love to do for my highlights. You'll see in a second. Let's get into this. We're gonna do this all over. <sighs> Can everyone at home see what I'm doing right now? Like, I'm absolutely insane. My mirror is facing away from me. Wow. Oh, wow. Wow. 
spin grab our white color. Now this isn't pure white. This is like the next shade down. I like a little gasoline, not full gasoline. And this is um, zero, zero. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this guy. I like a brush because I feel like I can control it a little bit better. We're going to put that in our highlight zones. Now, and it and honestly it doesn't depend like matter how like precisely you're doing this. We're gonna go in later with powders and make this perfect. This is where we come in and use the other side to blend in our highlights. Contour. Now I've been using TV paint sticks, but another great, more affordable option on the market is Mayron. It's a little bit greasier. You might enjoy that more. I like TV paint sticks. I think it works a little bit better for my complexion, but I still use the Cryline for my contour and that's okay. I like to start a little bit where my hairline and then I go in towards my mouth. I just do a little swipe there and then do a little swipe there. What some people call those cheekbones. <sighs> We're gonna do our beige rainbow swipe of brown up here, right at the ear. We're gonna cut the brick because I have a Jay Leno chin. And we're going to ding, 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 ding our contours and blend it in to the rest of our face. Now we have everything. Whoa, wait, wait, wait. Let me do my nose. <laughs> time for brows. So I like to do my brows at the same time that I do my foundation. That way, if I mess up, I can manipulate it a little bit easier. Angled brush. Angled brush. Is this what the kids do? The kids. Angled brush. <laughs> I like to start where my natural brow is and I go up. <laughs> so we go above, cut up to where you think seems about right, and then we're gonna cut back. Brow. Oh. Time for the cousin, because it's not going to be a sister, and we all know that. You're going to be a twice removed cousin. <laughs> We're going to go back in with the white color that we have and etch out the bottom and top of them, like so. We're going to take our favorite <laughs> air spun that smells like wonderful older individual. Okay, Boomer. And we're gonna kind of avoid our highlights, but we're going to beat the mug. We're gonna move into powder with contour. I have this wonderful Makeup Revolution kit. It's like obviously really great. This is a shield. This is laminate. I can also see where I'm putting it. It's, I mean, I place this where I want my contour to go. From my sideburns up to my mouth. And I start to cut that in. Now for the rest of it, I'm going to take the same tone and just go around the areas that I want to feel a little more stuck in. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take one of those, another Target cheap. What's that? That's a triangle. Triangle? Rhombus? Isosceles. Anyway, we're gonna take this shape sponge and we're going to take the powder and we're gonna go underneath our contour. And what I like about these sponges is it creates that sharp line which you want. A little bit here, a little bit over there, and then we're gonna underneath our eye line. Eye, eye line? Uh, yeah, eye bags. Eye. <laughs> and cut into the sides of our nose a little bit, going down the front of the nose. Now this is what we call 
baking. It's gonna set in while we do our eyebrows and eyeshadow. We're gonna go back in with a smaller brush and go into Not A Fact. And we're just gonna go in towards where our eyeliner would be and we're just gonna deepen that in towards the middle. Let's blend that in. Oh, I meant, oh! Go back in with our pigment. I'm gonna brush that down. We have like a decent enough uh, foundation set, like color story that I personally hate eyeliner. I think it's the worst thing in the world. Why? Um, it's just, I, it, I just don't like it. I don't enjoy doing it. I don't think it's fun. It irritates my eyes a little bit. So what I love is from the, the, the wig store, everything wonderful store, and it's called Double Trouble. The brand is called Absolute New York, but it is this wonderful like felt marker. There's a big end, very fine felt end to it. And I love using this. I go in towards, towards the inside of my eyelid and make sure I get all of that as dark as possible. A lot of this doesn't matter. When I shut my eyes, it looks like I have regular eyeliner on. The life of a hooded queen. eyelid queen. Does anyone have ever trouble of closing their eyes? No, I like, I have trouble like closing them. Like, Oh, wait, I don't know do how it? you can't stick out your tongue. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'm going back in. I'm just like, I'm just resetting everything. I'm going back in with dyed root beer and blending everything up. I'm going to go back in with not a fact. Really exaggerate and gradiate the eyeliner in. Yeah, we, I mean, I feel like this is good. I feel like we, we we have a look here. We have what's happening. It's something. It's something. It's on my face. <laughs> I'm gonna go into our Jeffree Star Matte Velour Lipstick and Drug Lord, and we are going to whiten the inner part of our eyelids to make it look like our eyes are a little bit bigger than they are. You can use any kind of like white color and we're going to set that in. And there we go. You can't do a drag makeup tutorial without glitter. My favorites are these amazing Stilla glitter eyeshadows. My favorite is this one, it's called Diamond Dust. We're gonna go in towards the inner, inner part of our eye, a fake, Cut crease look. Cut crease. That's also yeah. what the booty goobers say. Yeah. Cut crease. You wanna earn on your knees? I think the first person I saw this do this was like the Vixen or um, what do you call it? But I like to do a little teardrop area. I think it's really pretty. There's that. Time to take your fluffy brush again and we're gonna brush off the bake. Blush. I love a peach, peach brush. <laughs> There's people outside pointing into my window. Hi! I'm dead to you. So we're gonna go into our Morphe Pride palette. Gay rights! Okay, that's enough. I love this palette, it's really great. And we're going to go into Pride and Heart. Start with the temples and go down. It's okay to go there. Get a little bit more. Go in. Take that. Time for more sparkle. This is a, um, it's not Kat Von D anymore. It's KVD, I think is what they're calling it now. She exited drama. Yeah, um, sorry, I had her revoked. Oh! Oh. I don't think they actually sell this anymore. It's called Thunderstruck. My favorite highlighting powder. I take it on my middle finger again. Your best instrument ever. Look. You can't, okay, right. Get it together, girl, get it together. Uh, I'm blind. Uh, that highlight though, I'm blind. Uh, I can't see. I put that on my eye, like my, my under, my, my, what's this, what is cheek, this called? Cheek bone. Cheek bone. My other favorite highlighter palette in the world is the Alexis Stone Makeup Revolution collaboration. 
This is a magical palette. This one's great. It's like a purple and has blue reflex in it. Like, girl. Like, I can't stress if you want a great, uh, You just elevated it. That uh, was so much better. Is there too much glitter? No! No matter how much you put on, it's enough. Oh. So now we're gonna do lips. I have no lips. So I start with my bottom. Um, <laughs> I always start with the bottom, girl. I'm sorry. We're gonna go a lot lower than obviously where our natural lip is. I love a twistable lip one. These are the, sh these are it. Like, I don't, these are it. These are, these, these are it. it. I'm setting a boundary for myself. Some people have really thick lips. I don't, I have a bigger bottom lip than I have a bigger, well, any top lip. I start at the um, crease. So I start there and I go up. If you want a more natural look, follow the contour of your lip. I start here in my cupid's bow and then I just meet the two together. This was the hardest part for me to appropriately line my lips. It takes practice. But once you do figure it out, it's second nature. And there we go. Huh. Done. Oh, time for a liquid lip. And we're gonna start with a Morphe liquid lipstick. This is in shade Jealousy. Oh. Fill it in. You're just coloring in at this point. This is Jeffree Star. His lipsticks are amazing. This is Birthday Suit. So I just put this in the middle. It's almost and, like a highlight on your lip. Yeah, you're just kind of creating, you're just like working to create some sort of a depth. Yeah, you can stop it. That is basically the main look. This is it. Um, I'm going to go off camera, do some final touches, add some lashes, and then I will come back with my final look. And that's in the tutorial. This is the final product. I think I look amazing. This is actually the first dress I ever wore in drag and the first hair I ever wore in drag. I'll insert how I looked before here. <laughs> Yeah, we've upgraded ourselves. Anyway, thank you all for tuning into this channel. This is the only. <laughs> thank you all for coming in and viewing this tutorial. The only tutorial for makeup that I know that exists on YouTube. If you like what you saw, please like and subscribe and come back to our next video. Until then, mwah.